country music. It's like the family thing. And you get the, the mom and pop, and they bring the kids out. It's just, it's the best. So I moved to Nashville to be a songwriter at the end of the day. It's the backbone of the town. If you've ever been there, I mean, it's all about songwriters, just where the song starts. And um, this, uh, this next song is probably one of my personal favorites on the record. It doesn't really have anything to do with my mom and pops, but I always pay tribute to them. Um, when I was probably Riley's age, maybe a little younger, the first music I remember hearing was, was my mom was always playing oldies, you know, Elvis Presley, Buddy Holly, and, and uh, you know, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, and, 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 and as I got a little older, she, she you know, I, I learned all about George Strait, you know, if you're in Texas, you can listen to George Strait, and like the Eagles, and see, it's just a huge audio library in the studio, so there's all this music. Well, meanwhile, my pops was always a little, a little bored with country music and rock and roll musically because it was just three chords. But he would always say, son, if you could write a song like they do in classic country songs, you know, kind of like Twitty, Don Williams, George Jones, Tanya Wynette duets, that stuff's poetry. If you can do that, then, then you're on your way. So uh, this next song, I think, lyrically, it pays tribute to what country music is all about. And that's a, that's a, that's a story and a, and a, and a, and a lyric. <clears throat> And uh, musically, I guess, kind of what my mom was exposing me to. This is a song called Leave Me Later. She comes. 